Hello, my pretty people. Welcome back. Dory here again. Guess what? Getting ready for tomorrow's little Mardi Gras get-together with my friends. I just thought I'd show y'all. Today we're going to be talking about lipsticks, though. Let's get started with that so I won't waste your time and my time. So, let's see. Lipsticks. I'm going to be telling you some tips about lipsticks. Who are the winners of what stays longer, cheaper, or expensive? A little bit of, of tips of that. But before we start real quick on lipsticks, I want to share something really quick about teeth whitening. Uh, be careful out there when you do your teeth whitening. If you do a whitener, try to do it every every uh, month or so because it does strip your enamel. But one thing, tip that I found was this little gadget. It was uh, at the dollar store, 99 cents. And here's the difference. Okay, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a close up. Here's the difference. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna show you my teeth now. Okay, here you go. Okay, if you notice, the upper part is a little bit wider than the bottom yellowish. Okay, that's with this, okay? So, if you notice from far, see? The difference, the top is wider than the bottom. I just put it on and then I just brushed it without no toothpaste for about a minute and that's what happens. So, but I wouldn't recommend it to do it all the time. You people uh, that I, uh, have the smokers, I call them the smoker teeth, they kind of look smoky because that's, the enamel catches all that smoke and sometimes it also can mean that you have something inside uh, that you should go to a dentist and they have uh, better things to go and inject you from the inside to inject the bone marrow to make it white and then your tooth can appear to look a little bit more brighter or the tones of your the rest of your uh, teeth. I, uh, my oldest daughter did that uh, not too long ago. Uh, also one thing that I found out this one's pretty good so you can pay 99 or you can pay about I guess 20 bucks for a little box of this you just kind of glue them up and down and in about five minutes you take them off and they're ready to go but like i said these whiters have a certain type of bleach so be careful because they do strip your enamel and the enamel is good for you so that you can fight uh, other diseases and tartar and such so that's that's my little tip on that now let's see who who has uh we don't know which lipstick to use which one to use there's so many of them out there right okay so the winner of the red ones is Chanel and Christian Dior. They have a big variety of reds. Uh, Guerlain is also good, but in different colors. Uh, Givenchy, I found it to be a little bit more smoother and more creamier, okay? It stays a little bit longer than the other ones, than the Dior and the Chanel. If you put reds, they will stay on a little bit longer as well. Now, um, and also, one of the other top winners was this um, Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder was in the house here, and I use a soft pink Estee Lauder in the in the summer times. Uh, actually, you know, I, I keep it around my house and around the car, and it has a little magnet, you know, uh, but it stays fresh, even in the strong heats. I have to say that this one's a winner, a winner, winner. Winner for the uh, actual uh, heat resistance. Um, the other ones, they didn't do the job as well. Now, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been using lipsticks for probably over 30 years since I was young. Teenagers, um, if you don't have that much money for this, and I thank uh, my best friend, my BFFs, for uh, gathering these uh, type of lipsticks for me from, from her travels around the world. I appreciate it. Hubi, thanks a lot for bringing them as a gift. I appreciate that. Uh, they look awesome. So, um, so you don't have that much money to spend on lipsticks. Uh, how about something uh, that is from just the pharmacy at Walgreens? I found this Wet n Wild. They make really good mats. Um, they stay a long time. I have to say that this one is the winner for staying on a long time versus the really expensive ones that I have been mentioning to you. So that's that's that, and they have different colors. They have orange. I I like to wear any kind of color. Uh, and then if if you still t uh, teenagers or whoever doesn't have any money out there, 
uh, you still don't have enough money. Well, everybody has chapsticks, okay? This is very simple. You put on the chapstick, okay? And you see this? You get you the little box of the food colorings from the HEB for a couple of dollars, a Q-tip. And if you want red, just dip it on there and just put it on your mouth. That easy. And you don't even have to worry. You don't have chapstick, you can put it on with cream. And it'll stay there. It'll stay there probably longer than you think. Okay, it's probably going to be putting on, if you put the red, it's going to stay there for a while. It's not going to come off until maybe the next day. And that's okay. It's not going to hurt you. It's not harmful. Okay, they're edible food uh, colors. And like I said, if you want to make your own color, I'm a color specialist, but if you want to make your own colors for lipstick, you can. You can make it with that food product. You can even put it with a little cream. You can put it with chapstick. Make your own colors. How do you know about colors? Well, we learned this back in grade school, but I still continue to, to do it in my state board. But there's a lot of things that you need to know. And one of the main things you can do, uh, Google it and, and just ask it. What color makes yellow? Or what color makes uh, dark purple? If you, you teenagers that like the dark purple in math, um, what color makes black? And what color makes uh, whatever color you desire, orange, red, you know, they're out there. Okay, and all you have to do is do a little bit of mixture, and voila, you have the color that you probably would like if you don't have it in a lipstick. Okay, so if you have that, if not, go to the dollar store. They're just the same. They have a waxy film no matter what. And you'd be surprised, the dollar stores are probably one of the top leaders of the lipsticks that probably stay the longest. There you go, that's my tip for today. But here's the thing. I want y'all to be careful with what y'all use out there in your lips, and uh, take care of them. Always have them moist, even if it's just a plain chopstick. You know, always have them moist. Have a sunscreen on them. Um, I didn't show you all this, but I did when I was younger. I did do a a little. Uh, what do you call it? it we call it uh, permanent marking, permanent makeup. But in the life of the outside world, you call it tattooing. I did that. I did that. I don't know if you noticed. I do have a little line somewhere around here. Um, but like I said, if you're gonna go and do a permanent marking on anything on your face, go to a registered salon or a veto. Somebody that, that certifies they don't just go to any tattoo shop and have them do that because they need to be really hygiene for you to make sure that your face is gonna have the good outcome that it's supposed to have. And remember, if you're gonna do it, you youngster people out there, or whoever's gonna do it, make sure that that's gonna be the ultimate color that you actually want. For example, the lady put me a really deep, deep purple, okay? And I thought, oh my God, my lips came out so purple and it looked like I was punched out. Don't worry about that. The three layers will come off as it dries, and by the time you know it, it's just gonna leave it a soft mauve which that's the, usually the colors of the lips, the natural color, or, and it's gonna go back in place. Some of you people will have blisters. Now that could damage the actual color. I had that problem with that, but I mean, I, they still went okay. I've only done a retouch maybe two or three times, and the reason was with that, because your lips can only take so many epidermis peelings, like reptiles, and after the last one, that's it, you don't have any more skin, you don't have any more collagen, and it'll just burst out. So you don't. You need to be careful if you're gonna be doing permanent lining, permanent markings, especially on the lips. I would just advise you to use the lipstick. And what colors would look good on you? You know, everybody tells me, oh, winter colors, let's, let's go for the darks. Let's go, uh, you know, I have some browns, browns ones that I use, and I have some, I use all kinds. I use anything that that really makes me happy. So use whatever makes you happy, okay? You, I mean, if, if, if a darker color makes you happy, well, okay, you know, maybe your mom might not like it, she might not buy it, but at least you'll know how to make them. I already taught you how to make them. You know, put a little cream or put some chapstick uh, on and, and just dip the little thing in a, in a little bowl, the little colorful colors, and just put it on and apply it, and that's it, you're ready to go. And it'll be on there the, all night. Okay, um, so anyway, you can do that. And uh, like I said, I don't. I choose whichever color that, that I feel like it. And sometimes I might be wearing pink, and guess what? I'm gonna be going with a pink one, just because I wanna go with my outfit. That's just me, personally. But whatever makes you happy, you know, there's some people that are fair skin. Um, 
I, I wouldn't put too much of the pales because that might make you look a little bit paler. But if you have really light skin, I would go something like really bright, you know, go with an orange. Yeah. So if you're uh, olive skin like me, like I said, wear whatever you like. You know, uh, the olive skin people, they tend to have a, a color that any of them will match for them. And I know the fair people, they have problems or a darker skin. So wear the color that fits you most. And if you don't have a liner, you don't have to use any liner. If you want to just use the liner on your lips, you can do that too. Men that you have problems uh, with mustache and lining up things and, and you don't have, their mustache doesn't grow that much, you know. I want to tell you something real quick and then I'm going to wrap it up with with the lipstick thing but for men uh there's there's little <clears throat> pencil markers okay you can get you the brown whatever color that you're thinking you have some of the people don't get a lot so all you have to do is fill it up okay um I don't have any sideburns but you men that don't have any sideburns you can actually pencil it in with any color pencil. Go to get it from the dollar store. Or you can even put some eyeshadow from your friends or whatever girlfriend and just rub it in. And and you'll see how you will be able to tell. You won't be able to tell that you have some on. For people that need to, of course, get some eyebrow in, that's, that's a, a different segment. I will use that in a different segment. But I wanted to share that for men especially because I don't get to talk to you guys too much. But I know these are some tips that I've seen when I'm cutting their hair and um, designing their mustache and their beard. They don't have a lot out there. So those are some tips for y'all. Um, that you can actually pencil it in and you can also there's also lipsticks out there for y'all so that y'all can do that as well so that is reference also to the lipsticks as well so my pretty people uh if you cannot give something up for lent coming up you don't have to if you want to give something to yourself make yourself prettier feel yourself prettier go to the gym go for walks go do something that makes you feel better and feel good about yourself uh, like I said, I love y'all. Thank you for watching. Thanks to all my viewers out there. I appreciate it. And God bless you. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm not sure what we're going to talk about next time. Maybe about makeup and how to stay on the natural look. I think that that's something that y'all would like to uh, see. So, okay, then I'll see y'all soon. And like I said, here's some tips from Dory. And I'll see y'all. Bye-bye.